Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. It's my Asia Simone, and I am sitting next to the beautiful Miss Rochelle Dennis. She is the Girls United co creator and brand lead. And of course, you know the Essence GU Disruptor Summit is tomorrow. How yep. are you feeling today? I'm good. I'm good. First off, thank you so much for having me, my Asia. No, this thank you amazing. for having me. You yeah. know, like just to be able to host something so special. You know, I'm honored to be a part of this event, and yeah. we appreciate everything that you're doing. Thank you, and I'm happy that you are hosting <laughs> the hostess with the mostess. Yes, bringing the energy, bringing the vibes. And a lot of people don't know you started mm -hmm. off as a gymnast, but not just a normal gymnast. Yeah. I mean, a national championship winning gymnast. Yeah. Um, just how did you go from being that in that lane to yeah. now this major event curator? Yeah, so I think what is really great about gymnastics is that it really taught me the fundamentals of life and just to look at life in a much different way. Um, and that much different way being, you know, I started actually pretty late for a gymnast. So I started <laughs> when I was like nine years old. Wow. People typically start at like two or four. Oh, wow. Okay. And I progressed so fast. And like, so I competed against like Simone Biles and <laughs> like, you know, so really at, you know, the top level of, of gymnastics, right? But I never wanted to go to the Olympics. That wasn't my route. Okay. Um, but the sport is a predominantly white sport. There still wasn't much black representation. <laughs> and a lot of that is how you're portrayed in media, how the mm -hmm. sport's portrayed in media. And so mm -hmm. that's what really, you know, I think has shaped the way that I view how Girls United comes to life. Okay. And so in that transition to, okay, I'm going to just like curate something that keeps the women together, but I'm mm -hmm. going to focus on the black culture. Yeah. Now, why is that so important? Yeah, it's so important because, again, media representation is something that young black girls don't get. They don't see um, and we really are products of media, whether we realize it or mm -hmm. not, right? The way that we wear our hair, you know, the <laughs> outfits that we wear, and now the world is getting smaller and smaller with technology, what we're consuming every single day. But it's very important that there's also images and, you know, events and community for, you know, young black girls that are still trying to figure out where they want to go in life. Yeah, and it's amazing because we get to see you in boss form. You like you look amazing. <laughs> uh, your energy you. is just so elevated. <laughs> Who is Rochelle Dennis outside of the summit, outside yeah. of the event curating? Yeah, so I love that you asked that question, by the way, because like I feel like I sometimes I'm still learning what that is, okay. right? Like I think it's like we're all on this journey of like who are we, like what mm -hmm. we represent, you know, what mm -hmm. we like to do, and but who I am outside of everything. I'm very goofy. I love. I am too. Yeah, I love yeah. a little jokey joke. Mm -hmm. um, I really love just spending time like my friends and family. Okay. Um, you do know, you cook? Oh, <laughs> I'm an Uber Eats girly. Okay. <laughs> Door dash me up. I, yeah, I'm not. You just got to get some stock. Yeah. That's it. And then it'll make you feel better. Exactly. You see, my mom cooks, My all my sisters cook. So you have no reason to. Yeah, I have yeah. no reason to cook. <laughs> That's where that. all the beef starts, too, in the family. It always starts in the kitchen. When yeah. <laughs> no, I, I love the kitchen. So maybe one day I can I can give you a couple of lessons just so you can have Please. that one, two, and that's it. You just need, need probably, I think, two meals on, under your belt, and you'll be fine. Yeah, just Lowry season. And <laughs> 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 all right, so the Essence GU Disruptor Summit is tomorrow. This yes. is a huge event. Congratulations on five years. We're celebrating five long, powerful dynamic yeah. years um talk about the progress from year one to now yeah so year one started in COVID so it okay. was completely virtual oh wow so it okay. was 2020 it's obviously the world is shut down and we had our Essence Studios platform and so we you know ran it virtually and we were able to make that pivot really quickly okay. which thank God for that <laughs> um you know we're still able to you know pull off the summit virtually um, and still have a lot of young women, you know, enter into what is right. The now five years yeah. of, of Girls United. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then the second year was like a hybrid because it was still kind of that weird COVID. But Atlanta <laughs> was open, though. Y'all were open. For yes, sure. we are. We're always open. No <laughs> always <matter what>. open. <laughs> so it was a hybrid situation. And then it's just really grown and progressed from there. Okay. Um, elevated talent, you know, every year just gets better and better. So when you started year one, did you see it being something that was going to be an annual event? Was Is that the plan? Yeah, that was the plan. Okay. Um, and it was very intentional because it's, you know, we know Essence got the aunties on lock. Yes, yes. And so, you know, in the office, a lot of, you know, um, a lot of, you know, girls that either brush out of like college or, or in their first job, 
um, you know, at Essence, we were like just having a focus group on how Essence can cater to that next audience, that next generation. Um, Cause you know, we deserve, we deserve the things too. We deserve yes. what Essence is to our moms, our aunts, our grandmas. Um, and so that's how really, you know, Girls United was born. And so it was intentionally that so that we could speak to that year round. You're all about giving women their flowers, creating this space to where women can network, they yes. can uh, learn and grow. And it's almost like if you started in year one and now you've, you're still attending in year five, mm -hmm. you're actually growing with a community of women. How yeah. important is that to you? Yeah, that's so important because a lot of the inspiration and a lot of what Girls United is, is really about knowing our audience and really being super focused on who she is, what she likes, what she doesn't like, and also what her journey of life is right now, right? Like, is she graduating college? Um, is she maybe even entering into college? Is she like in the real world and trying to figure out what's next? So yes. I love just going around also at the event and talking to everybody and understanding like, okay, what do you need from us? Yes. Rather than us giving you something that we think you need. That you think you need. And I think it's very important that we give flowers, yes. right? It, especially coming from my end. I want to mm -hmm. give you some flowers right now <laughs> because of all the amazing work that you have done. I don't know if anyone's ever taking you out to dinner or I know you're always working. So on camera, I do want to oh give you flowers. <laughs> I am flattered. <laughs> Wow, thank you You're so welcome. much. That's for oh you. Oh my gosh, and the card? <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm a very thoughtful person, and like I said, I'm just honored to be a part of it because I think it's something that's really special. So you deserve your flowers, thank you know, you while so you're here. Much. <laughs> you know, I love flowers so much. Any really? flowers that I have gotten that are like, you know, for me, big moments, I actually keep them for like years. Really? Yeah. And I don't know if those are going to last for years, but. <laughs> I mean, I can make some like what, potpourri, what is it, potpourri? Oh yeah, that... out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's something that actually is a thing. Yeah. You can like, oh wow, that's amazing. All right, so look, <laughs> you've had, you. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you've had like many prominent women who are actually a part of the summit. I mean, from the, and I don't even want to begin to name names because mm -hmm. I think every woman who has made an impact on entertainment, pop culture, um, any type of industry, yeah. you've had them a part of the summit. Mm -hmm. uh, what has been one of your favorite moments just in general? Yeah, um, I have a couple of favorite moments. Um, one, my favorite moment. Well, OK, I'll give you three. OK, I'll give you three. I'll <laughs> narrow it down and I'll try to keep it short. OK, um, so. One moment was our speed mentoring sessions. It was kind of a test for us. And this was, I think we introduced it in like 2022. Um, and it was a test for us because it was something that we hadn't done before. And it was so successful and it was so good. And wow. the girls got so much out of it that we actually kept on adding sessions on during the day. Yes. And it was just like pure chaos because everybody <laughs> was just like, you know, like giving the op them the opportunity to have access to somebody that they normally wouldn't. Mm -hmm. um, so we had like a lot of amazing like founders that have like are incredible in, in the Gen Z space, yes. you know, mentor them. And how many people can say that they've been mentored by like these people? And, and like, people that they don't know, exactly. but you get to learn to know, th get to mm -hmm. know them and, you know, you grow together. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's very important. Yeah. All right. So I know that we are quick. We are a little yeah. limited on time. Yeah. So we have office hours, speed mm -hmm. mentoring. We have fireside chats. Yes. Uh, what are the other elements of this event? Yeah. Um, so we have our just a whole bunch of activations as well. Right. Um, shout out to a lot of our brand partners as well, because without them. Right. We're able to make this possible. We're able yes. to, you know, have the programming that we do. So you're, there's like hair touch up stations. <laughs> there's like some oh, lash wow. stations. There's That's tooth nice. gems. Um, but also our SoCo market, which is all about making sure that there's black vendors that are there that are able to, you know, sell their products, um, you know, and expose themselves to, you know, our audience. And that's also kind of one of my favorite elements as well is just the full community aspect. This feels like girls heaven. And then also the dress code is offered siren, which yes, office you, are, siren. you are representing this the right way. I yes. really love the ensemble, how you put it together. Um, are, is it going to be like a fashion show or anything? Oh, it's going to be a fashion show. Oh, Listen, okay. <laughs> the, girlies, the girlies have been hitting us up like, They're right. I'm shopping. I have to hit this look. <laughs> um, but yeah, the bla blazers, you name it, corporate baddies. <laughs> I love it. I love that that girl boss feel. Who are some of your favorite girl bosses? Ooh, okay. So Emma Greed is one of them. Okay. Um, Beatrice from Honeypot. Yes. Um. Monique Rodriguez from Mayel, 
Um, I have a whole Everybody list. loves Monique. They they always I love mention Monique. her. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. I'm agreed. Uh, did I say I'm agreed already? Yep, you did. Yeah. That was the first one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And before we go, um, is there anything else we should know about the SHGU Summit tomorrow? Uh, should it be a I'm, – I'm, I don't know if it's sold out. I did look online, and I saw everything is completely sold out. Yeah. So, like, if girls wanted to show up, is it too late? So we do still have some general admission tickets left. Okay. But okay. those are first come, first serve, um, okay. you know, because of the great response to everything. <laughs> it's a blessing. It's, it's good yeah, problems. Yeah, it's a blessing. It's, it's good <laughs> problems, you know. We're just trying to, like, manage that, um, you know. So it doesn't necessarily guarantee entry. But if you get there early, emphasis on the early Early, girls. early, early. <laughs> like maybe early, 8 early. o'clock, 8 a.m. Yes. Early. Like, <laughs> well, doors open at 9. Okay. So. Okay. I would say probably 8 30, 8 45. Okay. You know, okay. there's typically lines that start before that. So I would, I think that's a, around a great time to get there. And if they just want more information, where can they go? Yeah. So they can go to SNGU underscore on Instagram. We know that everybody's on Instagram. <laughs> yes. Um, so we're just keeping that updated. Um, you know, check your emails. Um, and then also, like, I, my team's really responsive as well. If you hit us up, we'll. Get right back we to will you. We'll get right back to you. Well, I'm super excited about this. I know the girlies are excited. <laughs> and thank you again, Rochelle, for joining us. I know this is going to be phenomenal. I can't wait to see what year 10 looks like. <laughs> I mean, you're going to continue to grow. And do you plan to travel with it? Yes, yes. we do. And okay. that's and that's what we're, we're working on right now. So definitely have some exciting things for 2025. Um, so, yeah, stick with us. Well, I'm excited. It's Maya Simone and Rochelle. It's Hot 107.9.